Hi everybody, what's up? Welcome back to ML's Plans. It's ML here, and today I'm gonna to be flipping through some of my favorite spreads from 2022. All of these spreads were pulled from my classic vertical happy planner, and this was the cover I was using last year um, and some just clear discs. I just pulled out the pages I wanted to show so it would be a little bit easier, and we are gonna start right here. So this was a really fun spread I did focusing on these fun hummingbirds. And then I added in florals and some kind of like whimsical stars and things throughout. You can kind of see how I use my planner week to week. I do a lot of checklists. I focus on what do I need to get done at work? What I need to focus on after work? And where do I have some free time as well? Next is another fun spread. I don't really use yellow a lot in my planner. So this one I really enjoyed. I used some washi tape up here. That's this important layered on top of a yellow washi that was plain. I used a lot of the stickers from Girl Power, I believe, which is one I don't really use very often. But I really like the designs with the daisies and the sun, not the suns, happy faces and things like that. We are moving on into February. So this was um, my favorite murder themed. And in here, these stickers are from Echo Wood Designs. I believe so. I'll link their shop in the description. So if you want, you can get these stickers. I'm a big My Favorite Murder fan. I also like to uh, listen to Morbid as well. So I really like this spread. I believe Monday, was President's Day or something like that, so I didn't need this section, and I just started the week on Tuesday. Something that happens is I don't always go in my planner on the weekends, and you'll probably see that as we go through this together, but I start to look at it less throughout the week. Um, my planner is typically open at my work desk, and that's where I'm like filling out to-dos for work. And I'm thinking about what I need to get done after work or the next day. So I don't always take a look at this on the weekends. This spread is focused on books, which I love so much. The book pages and the illustrations, as well as some of these flowers are from Create with Mandy. And then I paired it with sophisticated florals for some of these boxes. This box is probably Mojo Jojo just based off of the thickness. Um, sometimes I like to do my checklist like all across the middle or all across the top. I think it's a little bit easier to read. And I also like the look of it when um, my checklists are kind of like bouncing all over the page. So it really depends, but I really love the spread. I think something I'm noticing is this black grid washi is something I was really into this time last year. Coming up next, we have a fun floral spread where I primarily put the decorative um, elements around the edge of the spread and then the middle, which is boxes and checklists. And to-do is typically my work to-dos and then personal to-do, right? What am I thinking about when I get home or before I go to work? And then whatever was a highlight or something I need to remember I need to put in the boxes. I don't need to, I do. So like here I was watching The Great on Hulu. I finished reading Jurassic Park. I got dinner with a friend. I went to Popeyes, opened up in my town. So we checked out the Popeyes, really big things going on. So we're into summer now and I love how this spread turned out. Like I said, sometimes I like all of my checklists entirely across the page. This one I use circles, which I usually don't for the boxes in the spread. I usually just like a, a normal box. But I think since it was flowery and beachy, the circles looked really nice. It kind of looks bubbly, I would say. So this was definitely one of my favorite summer spreads. I love these big palm leaves or monstera leaves. I think it's from one of the older Happy Planner sticker books. I don't quite remember. And then this one was my Christmas in July spread. Again, I think it was just something fun in the middle of summer. I really wanted to use 
Christmas stickers and I cut out um, the white around these sunglasses so that the backing wasn't there and I could put them on the Santa faces so it looks like Santa was actually wearing sunglasses. I believe I went on a trip. Yeah, I flew out to Vegas on the 16th. So I didn't write as much at the end of this week, but a lot going on in the summer for me. There's a lot of summer birthdays in my family. So this was in August. I believe I did an Instagram reel of this one. This was the Jungle Vibes sticker book. And I really love the colors in this one. Even looking at it now, I'm just remembering how much I really like the sticker book, sticker book with the really pale pink, pale blues, and like this greenish teal is so nice. And then I did a Glennon Doyle quote, we can do hard things. If you've read Untamed by her, I feel like this definitely has untamed inspiration. Oh, and it looks like I started my YouTube video. I didn't even realize that. Or my YouTube channel, I should say. So my first YouTube vid went up on the 4th, and I just like created a YouTube channel on the 3rd. That's so funny. Very cool. This spread was a little bit later in August. Um, I did some scrapbook paper from the Happy Planner, and then um, some goal sticker book. What is it called? Oh, I can't remember. It's like one of my favorite sticker books ever. Um, it's going to come to me later. But again, some checklists across the middle and boxes bouncing around the bottom. I love a sidebar sticker if you haven't noticed as well. Just kind of an ongoing to-do list of what am I thinking about. And I think the black paper with the white stars went really nice with this. And then the last one, this was in October. Um, I did a video on this. It is like my K-State, Kansas State inspired spread. These sunflower stickers are from Caitlin Plans and I'll link them for you. I printed them. I did like a print and cut um, digital order from her so I could print off a ton of sunflowers in various sizes. And then... I just found some K-State logos and printed those off on sticker paper as well. So <laughs> this is oh, just a really fun spread. I had a really nice, fun weekend with my friends. The Kansas State football team won 48 to 0, and we just had a really good time. And that brings you to the end. So those are some of my favorite spreads from 2022. I didn't have a YouTube channel until August, as we saw. So I think I posted some of these spreads on my Instagram, but um, it was just really fun to take a peek in my planner and see where I was throughout 2022 and kind of wrapping things up and starting 2023. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.